recorded by Miss S. E. Waldo, a disciple. Thursday, 11th July 1895 Without mother love no creation could continue. Nothing is entirely physical, nor yet entirely metaphysical, one presupposes the other and explains the other. All theists agree that there is a background to this visible universe, they differ as to the nature or character of that background. Materialists say there is no background. In all religions the superconscious state is identical. Hindus, Christians, Mohammedans, Buddhists, and even those of no creed, all have the very same experience when they transcend the body. The purest Christians in the world were established in India by the Apostle Thomas about 25 years after the death of Jesus. This was while the Anglo-Saxons were still savages, painting their bodies and living in caves. The Christians in India once numbered about 3 millions, but now there are about 1 million. Christianity is always propagated by the sword. How wonderful that the disciples of such a gentle soul should kill so much. The three missionary religions are the Buddhist, Mohammedan and Christian. The three older ones, Hinduism, Judaism and Zoroastrianism, never sought to make converts. Buddhists never killed, but converted three quarters of the world at one time by pure gentleness. The Buddhists were the most logical agnostics. You can really stop nowhere between nihilism and absolutism. The Buddhists were intellectually all destroyers, carrying their theory to its ultimate logical issue. The Advaitists also worked out their theory to its logical conclusion and reached the absolute one identified unit substance out of which all phenomena are being manifested. Both Buddhists and Advaitists have a feeling of identity and non-identity at the same time, one of these feelings must be false and the other true. The nihilist puts the reality in non-identity, the realist puts the reality in identity and this is the fight which occupies the whole world. This is the tug of war. The realist asks, how does the nihilist get any idea of identity? How does the revolving light appear a circle? A point of rest alone explains motion. The nihilist can never explain the genesis of the delusion that there is a background, neither can the idealist explain how the one becomes the many. The only explanation must come from beyond the sense plane, we must rise to the superconscious, to a state entirely beyond sense perception. That metaphysical power is the further instrument that the idealist alone can use. He can experience the Absolute, the man Vivekananda can resolve himself into the Absolute and then come back to the man again. For him, then the problem is solved and secondarily for others, for he can show the way to others. Thus religion begins where philosophy ends. The good of the world will be that what is now superconscious for us will in ages to come be the conscious for all. Religion is therefore the highest work the world has, and because man has unconsciously felt this, he has clung through all the ages to the idea of religion. Religion, the great milch cow, has given many kicks, but never mind, it gives a great deal of milk. The milkman does not mind the kick of the cow which gives much milk. Religion is the greatest child to be born, the great moon of realization, let us feed it and help it grow, and it will become a giant. King Desire and King Knowledge fought, and just as the latter was about to be defeated, he was reconciled to Queen Upanishad and a child was born to him, Realization, who saved the victory to him. Dot, from the Prabodha Chandrodaya, a Vedantic Sanskrit mask, love concentrates all the power of the will without effort, as when a man falls in love with a woman. The path of devotion is natural and pleasant. Philosophy is taking the mountain stream back to its force. It is a quicker method but very hard. Philosophy says, check everything. Devotion says, give the stream, have eternal self-surrender. It is a longer way, but easier and happier. 
Thine am I forever, henceforth whatever I do, it is thou doing it. No more is there any me or mine. Having no money to give, no brains to learn, no time to practice yoga, to thee, O sweet one, I give myself, to thee my body and mind. No amount of ignorance or wrong ideas can put a barrier between the soul and God. Even if there be no God, still hold fast to love. It is better to die seeking a God than as a dog seeking only carrion. Choose the highest ideal and give your life up to that. Death being so certain, it is the highest thing to give up life for a great purpose. Love will painlessly attain to philosophy, then after knowledge comes parbhakti, supreme devotion. Knowledge is critical and makes a great fuss over everything. But love says, God will show His real nature to me and accepts all. Rabia Rabia, sick upon her bed, by two saints was visited. Holy Malik, Hassan wise, men of mark in Muslim eyes, Hassan said, whose prayer is pure. Will God's chastisements endure? Malik, from a deeper sense, uttered his experience. He who loves his master's choice, will in chastisement rejoice. Rabia saw some selfish will, in their maxims lingering still, and replied, O men of grace, he who sees his master's face, will not in his prayers recall, that he is chastised at all. Persian Poem